So this is the third video in a series on custom chart modifiers and something which we get asked a lot is how do I drag and reposition a series and the answer is well there's no native way to do this in SciChart but you can do it with a single class file by creating your own chart modifier. So here we've implemented a simple series selection and drag uh, vertically. The way that we do this is that we create a custom chart modifier. So we've called this one the simple series drag modifier. And this time we've inherited series selection modifier. The important thing to note here is that the series selection modifier already has the ability to select a series on click. So we're overriding the uh, series selection in order to extend that a little bit. Now in the simple series drag modifier we're overriding on modify mouse down, mouse move and mouse up. And what we're doing here in the mouse down is we're calling the base deliberately because this will perform the selection. The series selection modifier performs selection uh, in the mouse down. And then we get our uh, series which have been selected by the base class out and if there aren't any we return and or, or we store them. Next in the mouse move what we do is if we have no selected series you do absolutely nothing at all but if you do have selected series what we do is we get the current mouse point and the series already has a Y axis and an X axis attached to it. It's really important that we do this rather than referring to the parent surface X and Y axis because you could have a series registered on any axis and we get its current coordinate calculator and call get data value. So Y axis has methods which can convert pixels to data coordinates and uh, so on and so forth. You can find uh, knowledge base articles about that on our website. So given the current mouse point we convert that to the current Y value and given the last mouse point we convert that to the last y value and we compute a delta so this is a data value and we offset a series according to that delta. The offset method is pretty simple you get your series and you take your x and y values and then you clear the series and you reappend the data with an offset. Just to note uh, that if you do this and the series has got tens of millions of points it's going to be quite a slow operation um, but you know up to a hundred thousand points or so you probably won't notice the, the difference in performance. Finally on modifier mouse up we set our selected series to null. So there you have it in one class less than a hundred lines of code you have the ability to click and select and drag a series vertically.